feel like the park ranger. Back when I was a little kid, uh, my parents had gotten a new digital camera and it had the feature where it could record video and play it backwards. So my brother and I had a lot of fun with that, jumping off of high things and making it look like we had jumped from the ground up to some high point. Just playing around with the cameras that my parents had and realizing that anything pretty that I saw with a click of a button, I could make that into an image. Anytime that I saw something really cool, like, oh, there's a bird, like, right outside the window, I would get the camera and try to take a picture of it. And that kind of morphed, leveled up over time into me actually seeking out things that looked good specifically in nature, to take pictures of. When I'm shooting things that are still, like landscapes, it's a lot more zen, it's a lot more relaxing. I can just kind of enjoy the view, be present in the moment, as well as know that I'm making some really great media. I can't imagine a life without nature. I mean, I grew up in it, literally lived in the forest my entire life, and I think that experiencing the present and experiencing the moment that you're in is very important because it's easy to get so wrapped up in the shot that you want. I feel like I, I'm just wondering, like, should I put my other ones on? Or? the perfect shot, the perfect lighting, like, oh, it's cloudy, damn. Well, sometimes you just have to put the camera down and enjoy where you are. If I had to choose between photography itself and the experience of nature, I would obviously choose nature. Back home in Oregon, we have a lot more coniferous trees, so they're just green the whole year round, which is great. We love green, but this is something different. Here, and this makes the fall experience even better, there are just patches of deciduous trees whose leaves are changing, and that is just so beautiful for me. If I had to pick one single bit of advice to pass on to someone who was passionate about photography, who was just starting out, I would definitely say, never underestimate your potential. The more you practice, the more you do it, you're gonna improve a lot. The more you learn about the manual functions of the camera, you will see improvement. That's something that I feel I've recently learned. Um, I can be very critical of myself. So, in looking at other photographers that I follow on social media, I'm just like, damn, dude, how did they ever get there? And it wasn't until one of those photographers actually posted their very first images when I realized, wow, they actually started from the ground and climbed up to the top of the mountain.